Know your enemy. Recognize his attacks, but know and trust your God all the more. David was a shrewd military tactician. He was a battle-hardened warrior and had learned a thing or two about politics along the way. But most importantly, he was a man after God's own heart. He trusted in the Lord's way more than man's. 2 Samuel chapter 4 is a tragic story of assassination with an unsuspected twist revealing David's heart for the Lord. You see, King Saul and his son Jonathan had been killed by the Philistines on Mount Gilboa sometime back. And you know the backstory of how Saul turned away from the Lord and, and the Lord anointed David to be king of Israel in his stead. But Saul became an all-out enemy of David, seeing his position as threatened. And after Saul's death, the time had finally come for David to seat on his throne. But there was a little issue of Saul's grandson, Ishbosheth possibly rising up to seize his grandfather's throne instead of David. This is where our story gets interesting. Four brothers band together, sneak into the palace, kill and behead Ishbosheth. And the two of the brothers, they bring his head to David. They figured that David would appreciate their murderous initiative to secure his throne and would probably reward them for it. They could not have misread David more. From the beginning, David recognized the Lord's anointing and provision. He knew that when the Lord wanted him to take the throne, he would be seated. But until then, he didn't have to manipulate, fight, or force his head into the crown. This would be the Lord's doing. So instead of reward, the assassins were executed with their hands and feet cut off and they were hanged by the pole of Hebron. David was not delighted in Saul's fall, even though he was David's enemy. David never wanted to be king at the cost of another's life. Doesn't this reflect a man after God's own heart? Doesn't this paint a little picture of David's later descendant, Jesus, who likewise would not force his way to the throne or, or wish hatred or hurt upon his enemies? As King Jesus hung upon the cross at Calvary and was ridiculed by those who hung him, he never wished harm upon them, but instead declared, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. May this be our heart. May, may we not seek promotion at the cost of others. May we not be those who manipulate our way through life, but instead be men and women after God's own heart, leaning on and trusting in His ways and His workings. You are greatly loved, so go and greatly loved.